Tara here and welcome to all of the beautiful raw foods that we're growing on our property. To start with, we're growing one of my favorite greens, which we always grow a lot of, and that is arugula. I love growing arugula because it's so easy to grow. I have never ever had an experience where the seeds didn't take and I love to eat the arugula fresh from my garden because it is so spicy and tastes so good. Next, we are growing so many raspberries. Not technically ours, they're the landlords, but luckily they are happy to share because we have such an abundance of raspberries this year. We've got quite a few containers this size that we've frozen and we're using for smoothies or just eating fresh, but we just can't keep up with all of the gorgeous raspberries we've got. Then we've got some little zucchinis growing, not many right now, but we've got about three or four on each of our zucchini plants, which we have two of right now. We're also growing some fresh herbs like this delicious basil that I'll pluck for salad dressings or pestos or just to put in salads. And then we're also growing fresh rosemary. I love just the smell of rosemary on its own, but it's also really good in dressings. And then we've got our one lonely cucumber plant. We didn't have a ton of space to grow cucumbers, so we just tried the one plant, but we do have a cucumber coming up. We're growing a few different types of tomatoes, including these gorgeous heirloom tomatoes, the big beefy ones, and delicious little cherry tomatoes. And last, but definitely not least, comes our fig trees. The one you're looking at right now is our six-year-old Desert King fig tree, which we've got two different crops of this year. We've got the little ones right there, and then we've had fully ripe ones already. And we also have the Italian honey fig, black mission fig, and vert fig. These are my favorite. I love figs so, so much. We plant them in pots right now because we don't yet have land of our own, but these are so gooey and so delicious. Desert King are my favorite type of figs. They're so, so good. One thing we've learned from having a garden is that it takes a lot of care. It takes a lot of work to look after. So the reason that we're growing not a huge amount of food, just these two small gardens out front and some fruit trees of our own, is because we want to be able to handle the food that we have growing. We've tried growing a larger garden and realized that we just didn't have the time to dedicate to watering, to weeding, to taking care of the plants. But we do love the little garden we have and I hope you love it too. If you do, give this video a thumbs up if you love growing homegrown organic food. Subscribe to 40 Below Fruity and I will see you next time.